Hello, welcome back to Engineering Sound. In this short video tutorial, I will explain how you can create an alignment from any object. If you have a polyline or simple line or any other object, you can easily create an alignment from this object with standard and with style. I will explain these all things in this tutorial. First of all, if you want to create an alignment, first of all, if you want to create a polyline, you should to go to this option. Okay, let me zoom. This is the polyline, 2D polyline. 3D polyline is when you have easting, northing, and elevation, and you have three things you can call 3D polyline. And if you have two things like easting and northing, so it's called it's 2D polyline. And easily you can enter a command from your keyboard PL for polyline shortcut command. So we will select this polyline from here. It's giving in the command bar, select the start point. For example, this is our start point. If you zoom in this command, it will give you arc, half width, length, undo, and width. You can provide this all option to your polyline command. For example, if you want a polyline, just as a simple line you can create it like this way if you need in any arc like for example if you want a create a arc let's select a polyline again from here this is our polyline and then you need to select arc from here or you can right click and from the right click you can select the arc option from here okay here is the arc so let me select the arc option. Once you select the arc option, it will give you arc like this. Okay. So polyline select and click on arc and it will give you the arc option. Okay. For example, I am going to select like this. Okay. Arc and you can again select arc. And if you want to change after this segment, just to simple line let's select right click and go to the line command here and also you can go to the radius direction or angle if you want to give as any angle as per your requirement you can provide also the angle or you can give the radius as per your requirement and you can give also the width here from this option width and radius and also you can provide angle from here so let me select the line option from here okay let's click here you see this one options if you want to give the line uh, continue as a line this is the first point this is the width okay so we should to reduce the width to zero for example zero so this is zero and normal it will really become to normal polyline okay and if you give any width, for example, I am going to give the width 5. So it will go like this way. But we don't need to give the width. And also, this is the arc option. The first segment is arc. And the next segment I want to give this is as a line. Just select the line. It will select as a line like of this way. And in, if you again provide as arc you need to go to the arc option or right click and select arc and it will provide again the segment as a arc okay let me explain how we can create an alignment from a polyline okay let me give this arc okay and like this enter so this is our polyline and from this we will go to this alignment option go to the alignment option here and select this one option create alignment from object okay once we create alignment from object then the command bar will give that select line polyline or x reference uh, this three option if you have any one like if you have any line or you have any arc you have polyline you have x reference anything from import any file which you import to your civil 3d you can use it so we have only polyline we will create from the polyline select the polyline and enter okay so it will give you this option which direction do you need direction or you need as a reverse if you need as a reverse it will this option will change as a reverse options so enter 
and this option will open here you can provide alignment name like l i g alignment new alignment or anything you can just give it and here is the description you can provide description from here and here you can give the non site we don't need to provide here is propose you can give it to basic and here is the layer if you want to create a new layer you can create easily it from here and here is label if you want to provide any label you can just select all label or you don't if you don't need you can make it no labels okay so all labels we will provide it all label if you go to this option let me zoom add curve between tangent if you need curve so you can just select it from here and this is the default radius and this is the arrays existing entities okay if you check and uncheck this one so the existing entities mean the existing polyline will be deleted after creating a alignment so select it okay now you can see okay once you click your all alignment station everything will show it automatically here okay for one if you want to click on the alignment and you go to the alignment property from here let's select the alignment property and you go the basic one from here you can select a different style for your alignment let me zoom out a little bit then you can see it easily so here is the curve it's providing you the curve as per the requirement if you want to change it you can change it from here okay this one if you want to change like this way it will be changed automatically as per your requirement and next if you want to go to the alignment property let me zoom out a little bit so i will explain it from here just select here and go to the basic if you select the existing one apply it will change you can see it for okay existing if again you select this one intersection basic apply it will change to this option if you go to the layout it will select and it will change to this option okay if then again to offset or proposed let's select the proposed one click here it will select the proposed one and also if you want to change this label or setting you can just select click here and go to the alignment station edit a marker from marker here you can change and from the display you can change all the colors and you can easily select any kind of these layers you can turn on or turn off as per your requirement select again the alignment and right click go to the edit alignment labels from the labels you can just add any label or you can delete any label of from here you can change this one increment if you want this increment as a 50 meters or you need this one as a 25 meters the check mark you can just select check one check this one and here and apply and now you can see it's now on 50 50 if you go and select as a 100 meters and this one as a 50 meters 50 apply and okay so next if you want to change any color of this this one for example i am going to select this edit from here go to this option and from here you can change the color if suppose i want to give this color from here and i want to change the text height also text height uh, six and if you need to provide any like this offset as y offset and this is 3 2.5 if you give this 4 mm you will see this 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 offset will change and also the color will change from here and also you can see here in the display apply and okay apply okay this one apply you can see the size of text and this thing is also changed if you want to change this thick color you can go to this edit option from here and from here you can change it the color and also you can change the thickness or height or length of this thick you can change it from here and also if you want to change the color and text style go to this option edit again here and from here you can go to the journal from the journal you can select the any text style from here which one you want okay so this is the journal settings for this one okay go to this layout option station 
this is six meter if you go here you can write or you can add anything from here to your alignment if you want to add any uh, uh, north thing or east thing or you can add any alignment name you can add alignment name if you want to add a speed design speed you can also add the design speed apply and you can apply okay okay and apply okay you can see here it's added already but we don't need to add it from here up here so go to control z you can see it here from here so i hope this video is helpful for you we will see in the next tutorial please don't forget to press like share and subscribe for more such informative videos we will see in the next tutorial goodbye